And joining us now is the CEO of AstraZeneca, Pascal Sorio. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, Meg. So some of the biggest data you're presenting here at the conference and what people say is a major headline out of the conference is some progress in pancreatic cancer, which of course is one of the hardest to treat cancers. Tell us about those data. Yeah, pancreatic cancer is a terrible disease. And if you look at the last five years, there has been no improvement or very, very modest improvement in what we call five-year survival rate. So what is your chance of being alive five years after being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer? And today it's still below 10%, 6-7%. So it's a terrible, awful disease. Mm -hmm. And we're very happy that uh, we were able to come up with a, uh, an option for some of those patients who have a so-called BRCA mutation. Right, that's the BRCA mutation, which people associate with breast cancer. Yes, it's interesting, actually. For a long time, people thought uh, BRCA mutation is associated with ovarian breast cancer. It's a woman cancer, if you want. Actually, it applies to men as well. It applies to prostate cancer, we believe. Uh, and it is found in pancreatic cancer. And I think this study uh, in pancreatic cancer shows that the BRCA mutation is, is relevant to many, many cancers. Right, and it's about, what is it, 5% of pancreatic cancers that might have this BRCA mutation? 7%, it's a low, low single digit, so 7%, about 7% of patients have this. So it's a small number, but it is very relevant for those who have it, of course. Right. Yeah. How much of an, a market opportunity is that for you? It's not a very big commercial opportunity. I would say it's a small one. But we are all very, very proud of uh, having done this work because it is you know, a great opportunity for patients with this type of cancer to benefit from a new treatment. Mm -hmm. And you've said that AstraZeneca, in an interview with Stat News over the weekend, might be number six or seven in the market for cancer drugs in terms of sales. But you say you're number three in terms of science. So how do you catch up the sales to the science. Yeah, well, the sales it takes time. We've just been launching products in the last uh, couple of years, and the products we've launched, uh, Tagriso for lung cancer, Infinzi, uh, uh, immunotherapy, Limparza, we are in the process of launching a product called Calcoins. All these products are in the early phase of their launch, so we will grow very rapidly over the next couple of years. But for us, it's very important to be a leader in science uh, before anything else, and we pride ourselves in you know, shaping the future of cancer care. And this study in, in, uh, in pancreatic cancer is a good example of that. Mm -hmm. And by the way, it's not as such commercially uh, big, but it is very relevant because it shows BRCA is relevant to many cancers and therefore the drug Limparza can apply to many cancer types. Are enough patients getting tested for BRCA with different kinds of cancers? Yeah, great question. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it is something that should become routine because uh, if, you have a, if you have a family member that has uh, this mutation, not only women, but also men should be tested for it, and it should become a more routine test for patients with cancer. Where do you think AstraZeneca needs to grow in terms of uh, your cancer business, or, or more broadly, and, and how do you look at the prices of potential yeah. biotech targets? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, in cancer, we want to be a leader in many of these cancer types. So in lung cancer, we are very well positioned. Uh, ovarian cancer, we have many studies that we'll read out, read out in the next few months and we are well positioned. We just entered an important collaboration with Daiichi Sankyo of Japan to develop and commercialize a new so-called antibody drug conjugate. Mm -hmm. One of these antibodies that delivers a toxin to the cancer cells. And the results, the clinical results in uh, breast cancer are absolutely amazing and we will be able to help patients with so-called low, low HER2 uh, breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So many, many breast cancer patients, but also gastric cancer. So we want to grow in many of those uh, uh, cancer types. Price, price is of course the issue, um, but you know, we try to develop targeted medicines that really generate uh, a clinical benefit that can justify the price we charge.